Good morning, friends. Myself, Vijay Shankar from EC Department, Chevrolet Engineering College. Today, we are going to discuss about the horizontal polarization. What is the transmission coefficient and the reflection coefficient? In the last class, uh, we already derived the expressions of uh, horizontal polarization. Horizontal polarization in the uh, uniform plane wave in a two dielectric medium. The medium one is a dielectric one, and the medium two is also the dialectic okay so the horizontal polarization or perpendicular polarization the uniform plane wave is instant obliquely with e perpendicular e bar perpendicular to the plane of uh, incidence then we can call it as a horizontal polarization. The two, both the mediums are dielectric. The incident beam on a plane of a dielectric boundary. In this, uh, we derive the EI bar, HI bar, ER and HR and ET and HD. E1 bar is equal to E2 bar as a tangential components. E1 bar is equal to EI plus ER is equal to ET. And uh, we can substitute the exponentials uh, only at the Z is equal to 0. Z is equal to 0. All the exponentials are equal with the TI and the TR and the theta T. Not the TI. EI, ER, and the ET. The exponential coefficients at the Z is equal to 0. In a similar way, the magnetic field also, H1 bar is equal to H2 bar. H1 bar is a HI bar plus HR bar is equal to HT bar. In this also, we can substitute the Z is equal to 0 and uh, comparing only the AX coefficients, compare the only the AX coefficients, we'll get uh, the exponentials are all equal. Beta 1 X sine theta I is equal to beta 1 X sine theta r and the beta 2 x sine theta t. We already know the Snell's law of reflection, theta i is equal to beta r and Snell's law of refraction, sine theta t by, here comparing these two functions, theta i is equal to theta r. So beta, beta 1 can cancel, x, x also can cancel, theta i is equal to theta. When you compare Beta 1 x sine theta i is equal to beta 2 x sine theta t. You get the Snell's law of refraction. Sine theta t by sine theta i is equal to beta 1 by beta 2. Got it, my dear students? So, up to this, uh, in the last class, we completed. Now we can find the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient. Uh, EI. The equation EI plus ER is equal to ET. EI plus ER is equal to ET. Now I can assume here one equation. And in this, you can substitute EI cos theta I e power minus J beta 1 x sine theta T plus ER cos theta R e power minus J beta 1 x sine theta R is equal to Within the parenthesis, there is a cos theta t e power minus j beta to x sine theta t. In this equation, in this equation, we can substitute the ti is equal to theta i is equal to tr and theta r is equal to ti. One by eta one whole multiply minus ei cos theta i cos theta i and here e power minus j beta 1 the power whatever we have the, all the powers are equal okay eliminate these powers here and plus er into if the cos theta r is there you can write it as a cos theta i since it is a sense law of reflection theta r is equal to theta i and this exponential is uh, eliminated because uh, e power minus j beta 2 sine x sine theta t is equal to these two. Multiplying with uh, 
and in the right hand side minus e t by eta 2 cos theta t. What it matters. Now you can substitute the EI plus ER is equal to EG to find the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient. Transmission coefficient uh, tau is equal to the ratio between of EG by EI, EG by EI, and the reflection coefficient gamma is equal to ER by EI. Means to find the transmission coefficient, eliminate the ER, eliminate the ER. So using this equation, EI plus ER is equal to ET. What is the ER is equal to? ER is equal to ET minus ER. ET minus ER. So substitute ER is equal to ET minus ER in this equation. So minus, I am multiplying the minus here. The minus is there, here also the minus. 1 by eta 1, 1 by the eta 1, cos theta i is also common, cos theta i. So multiply the minus here, it becomes a plus ei. Now the plus er mean, means a minus, I am substituting the er as et minus ei, et minus ei. is equal to already the min minus is multiplied we have only the et by the eta 2 cos theta t listen carefully my dear students it's a very very important uh, find the reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient uh, in a horizontal polarization of the two dialectic boundaries i'll simplify this equation ei minus of minus ei is a 2 ei 2 ei and the cos theta i divided by eta 1 and here the minus uh, et cos theta i by the eta 1 is equal to et cos theta t by the eta 2. Now to get the et by ei, bring that is minus et in the right hand side, 2 ei by eta 1 cos theta i is equal to, in this the et is a common, take the et is a common term. And now the cos theta i by eta 1 plus cos theta t by eta 2. Take the LCM. Now I am writing here, reflector transmission coefficient implies 2 EI by eta 1 cos theta i is equal to, take the cross multiply the eta 2 cos theta i plus eta 1 cos theta t will divide by eta 1 and the eta 2. So in the right and left hand side eta 1 and the eta 1 get cancelled and the multiplying the et the transmission coefficient et by the er. So transmission coefficient tau is equal to et by the ei that is equal to what is the EI coefficient 2 cos theta i. So 2 cos theta i. And here the denominator that is eta 2 is also there. Eta 2 whole divided by the ET coefficient you can write here. Eta 2 cos theta i plus eta 1 cos theta t. Okay, the transmission coefficient. See the conducting boundary. What is the conducting boundary transmission coefficient? 2 eta 2 by eta 1 plus eta 2. There is no any angle. Okay. In the conducting boundary, 
conducting boundary the normal incidence not the normal incidence you get it uh, is 2 eta 2 by eta 2 plus eta 1 what matters for the transmission coefficient is equal to now in the oblique incidence there is a cos uh, multiplication factor of cos theta t and cos theta i because of et by the ei t by the theta i only you get okay see the transmission coefficient et by the ei is equal to 2 eta 2 cos theta i by eta 2 cos theta i plus eta 1 cos theta t what matters friends now we go for to find the reflection coefficient reflection coefficient er by the er means in this expression in this expression eliminate the et eliminate the et by substituting the ei plus er in the et function okay now to find the reflection coefficient i am using the equation the same equation here 1 by the eta 1 we got this expression from eliminating of the power here the exponential value eta 1 ei minus er cos theta i is equal to et by eta 2 cos theta t now substitute the et as ei plus er implies uh, 1 by eta 1 ei minus er cos theta i is equal to using this relation ei plus er is equal to et et is equal to ei plus er now the et is eliminated to get the reflection coefficient eta 2 cos theta t okay so bring ei and the er in one side okay in the left hand side ei by the eta 1 cos theta i and here in the right hand side the ei is there minus ei cos theta t eta 2 is equal to in right hand side er cos theta t by the eta 2 and now here the minus in the left hand side you get the plus in the right hand side er cos theta i divided with the theta 1. Take the LCM theta 1 and theta 2 and here also the theta 1 and theta 2 EI into EI into theta 2 cos theta i minus theta 1 cos theta t whole divided by the theta 1 and theta 2 is equal to take the common of er here eta 1 cos theta t plus eta 2 cos theta t cos theta i sorry and eta 1 and eta 2 so both the denominators get cancelled the reflection coefficient uh, the ratio between of er and the er so what is the ei coefficient so right about the ei coefficient is eta 2 cos theta i plus not the minus minus eta 1 cos theta t whole divided by the eta 1 cos theta t plus eta 2 cos theta i okay the reflection coefficient see in the normal incidence uh, reflection coefficient uh, is what is the reflection coefficient in the conducting boundary, not the conducting boundary? The normal instance of two dielectric, eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1. Point my disturbance. The transmission coefficient also we got the same thing. Uh, 2 eta 2 by the eta 2 plus eta 1. Without any angles, the normal instance of two dielectric boundaries. Now, the oblique incidence in the two dielectric boundaries, uh, reflection coefficient and the transmission 
coefficient coefficient having multiplication factors of cos theta t and cos theta i. Got it? You see the reflection coefficient we got uh, theta two cos theta i minus theta one cos theta t, and uh, divided with uh, theta two cos theta i and theta one cos theta t. But minus one. Now, what is the relation between of the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient? Is one plus the reflection coefficient will get the transmission. So this we already got the reflection coefficient. Add one here. Add one. So cross multiply here. Eta two cos theta i minus eta one cos theta t. I'm adding the one means I take the LCM here. Eta one cos theta t. Plus eta two cos theta i, whole divided by the eta two cos theta i plus eta one cos theta t. See in the numerator there is any cancellation is there. Eta one cos theta t plus and minus is get cancelled. Eta two cos theta i and eta two cos theta i. Nothing but the two eta two cos theta i. Divided with the eta two cos theta i plus eta one cos theta t, the same thing. The reflection coefficient two eta two cos theta i by eta two cos theta i plus eta one cos theta. Now the relation between these two, one plus the reflection coefficient is equal to transmission coefficient. In the normal incidence, also see the plus one you can add here. Can add plus one and take the LCM. It also will get the reflection coefficient of plus one is equal to transmission coefficient two eta two by eta two plus eta one. These two expressions we got for the normal instance of a dielectric bonder. And now whatever we derive now itself is a transmission and the reflection coefficient of nothing but the horizontal polarization. It is for oblique instance for the dielectric. The E bar is perpendicular, or E polarization, or we can also call it as a H polarization, horizontal polarization. What it matters? Now another topic we have. So another topic uh, that is a vertical polarization, or it is a parallel polarization. Why it is parallel polarization? Always we can take the E bar. You consider the uniform plane where with the E bar. Parallel to that of the plane of incidence. Previously, in the horizontal polarization, the uniform plane where the E bar is perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Considering with the plane of incidence obliquely, the E bar is parallel. We can call it as a parallel polarization. E bar is perpendicular with the plane of incidence. That is a perpendicular polarization or V polarization, vertical polarization. H polarization also you can call it as a H polarization. Vertical polarization is also called as a H polarization. Okay, the incident and electric, uh, the incident electric and the magnetic uh, in field intensity vectors in the media one are given by I and the HI. We already told uh, to draw a right angle triangle here to get the equations of H bar and the HI and the EI. Okay, in this uh, vertical polarization means H is a H polarization. We are calling it as to find the H bar or H I bar. Use this diagram which I will draw here. A incident uh, beam with an angle of theta i. Draw a perpendicular line. Draw a perpendicular line. Dotted lines here. Here is a e i is there, not the e i h i h i bar, and there is an e i bar here, which is perpendicular. E i is parallel to that of the incident beam. And H I is perpendicular. H I is perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Means definitely it is parallel. 
because these two are perpendicular to each other. So what is the opposite side here? The sine theta i and adjacent side is a cos theta i. Okay, is towards the x direction and it is towards the z direction. It started here and it moves uh, towards positive and towards the positive of z directions. Using this right angle triangle, first of all, you can write the hi bar. Hi bar is equal to, actually, it is a hi into e power minus j beta 1, j beta 1, a n i bar dot r bar into a y bar. It is a formula for the hi bar is equal to. What is the hi in terms of e? ei by the eta 1? Why I am taking the eta 1 means it is in the medium 1 only. So e power minus j beta 1 a n i bar. a n i bar means by using this right angle triangle. Sin theta i is towards the x direction means so sin theta i a x bar plus cos theta i is towards the z direction. So cos theta i a z bar a z bar dot dot r bar. What is r bar? It's a common for all r bar is equal to because we are considering as a Cartesian coordinate system or the rectangular coordinate system x into a x bar plus y into a y bar plus z into a z bar. Got it, matters. So now we can write this one x into a x bar plus y into a y bar plus z into a z bar. Okay, and a y bar is a h i bar direction. So a x bar and a x bar dot product only the one remaining two is a zero. So e i by the eta one e power minus j beta 1 into so x into sin theta i x into sin theta i plus a z bar coefficient is z cos theta i into a y bar okay so h i bar is equal we got h i bar is equal to e i by the eta 1 e power minus j beta 1 x sin theta i plus z cos theta i into a y bar. What it matters? Okay. Let's so see here we got a h i bar is equal to h i bar is equal to e i by the eta 1 minus j beta 1 whole multiply with the x sin theta i plus z into cos theta this is a right angle time problem. What it matters? Perhaps. Similarly, we can draw, now that we can find out the EI bar also. Already the HI means the EI bar will get uh, the coefficient is the same. Okay. EI bar is equal to EI bar is equal to coefficient is a uh, EI into the exponential value e power minus j beta 1 x sin theta i plus z cos theta i is a y we have here a y is cross multiply with the a y bar a y bar is cross multiply the function or the cross multiply sorry cross product a y bar cross a and i bar a y bar cross a n r bar a n i bar a n i bar what is the a n i bar we already have sin theta i a x bar sin theta i a x bar plus cos theta i a z bar if we have any confusion in this whether it is a n i and the a y bar cross a n i bar cross a y or a y bar cross a n i means uh, let us take uh, the right angle triangle here i will draw 
a right angle triangle here. The arrow mark is take uh, as a hypotenuse and draw a right angle triangle like this. Got it, my dear students? So we can take the angle here. The opposite side is this one, and it is inside. Okay, what is opposite side means? Sine theta i is opposite side when we consider here the theta i. Adjacent side is the cos theta i. What it matters? We started here and travel in this direction. So sine theta i into so this total multiplied with the sine theta i into. This is a z direction opposite to the z direction means minus a z bar minus a z bar and this is a positive z x direction cos theta i into a x bar cos theta i into a x bar okay you see here so e i bar is equal to e i bar sorry E i bar is equal to E i into e power minus j beta one x sine theta i plus z cos theta i whole multiplied with cos theta i into a x bar minus here the minus j z bar minus sine theta i into a z bar. So from these two right angle triangle, for this right angle triangle, we'll get the h i bar. And from this right angle triangle, we'll get the E i bar. What it matters to us. Or otherwise, uh, we can take uh, A n i bar dot A y bar. So what is the A n i bar sine theta i sine theta i A x bar plus cos theta i A z bar into it, it's not the dot product my students cross product sorry is a y bar cross i think a n i bar sorry a y bar cross so a y bar cross a y is a, a not the order so sine theta i into minus a z bar plus y and z is in the order so the cross product of uh, a y and a z is a x cos theta i into a x bar so directly like this so in this is the a y bar cross a and a and i bar okay in the vertical polarization but in the horizontal polarization we can apply the a and i cross a y bar what it so now we got uh, e i and the h i e i and the H I terms. In this, uh, the interface at the z is equal to zero. Here, the z is equal to zero means uh, the second term in the exponential is a zero. E i by the eta one e power minus j beta one x sine theta. Similarly, in the e i bar also, z is equal to zero e power minus j beta one x sine theta i. And we can compare only the a x bar coefficients. A x bar coefficient. We are eliminating the a z bar. E i e power minus j beta 1 x sine theta i into cos theta. What my students? So the E i and H i bar similarly, similarly to find E r and the H r, E t and the H t, we can draw the diagram. Okay, you see. In this, uh, draw a perpendicular line and uh, assume this is a right angle triangle here. Right angle triangle. Okay, I will draw. Let us see the transmission coefficient the theta or the transmission coefficient theta t, transmission angle. Draw a line to get the sin theta t right angle triangle 
can see a e n t bar and adjacent side is a cos theta t we need to find uh, and also there is a h e t bar e t bar is in the touch e t bar and here the h t bar you have to find out the h t bar first of all h t bar is equal to the formula is h t into e power minus j beta 2 because it is in the medium to go a and t bar dot r bar into a y bar okay my dear students now the h t in terms of the e t is e t by the eta 2 since it is in the medium to e power minus j beta 2 a and t bar from this right angle triangle from this right angle triangle it starts from here itself travel in this direction both are in the positive only so cos theta t a z bar plus sin theta t a x bar into a y bar okay h t bar is equal h t bar is equal similarly the h e t bar is equal to e t bar is equal to e t into the exponential is the same e power minus j beta 2 cos theta t a z bar plus sin theta t a x bar not the x bar sorry here we can apply the dot product of r bar also my students here the r bar is there okay. dot r bar what is r bar x into a x bar plus y into a y bar plus z into a z bar into a y bar okay my dear students that dot product uh, z and z only here we will get the z here z into cos theta t sin theta t into sin theta t into x uh, x bar is the one so coefficient is the x x sin theta t plus z cos theta t into a y bar into a y bar is a h t bar my difference h t bar is equal to e t by the eta 1 okay now we can find the e t bar is equal to e t bar is equal to e t into e t into e power minus j beta is not the theta 2 theta 1 not theta 2 beta 2 x sin theta t plus z cos theta t i told that a y bar cross this function whole multiply this is in the power whole multiply the a y bar class this function y and the z is an order so you'll get a cos theta t into a x bar and the y and the x so it is a minus sin theta t into a z bar okay so et bar is equal now in this function also when the z is equal to zero it is e power minus j beta to x sin theta t. In this also, the z is equal to 0, the exponential e power minus j beta to x sin theta t. Only can consider as a x bar coefficient, you will get the cos theta t. Got it? So, otherwise, uh, by using the right angle triangle, I told here, draw a right angle triangle with this hypotenuse. Assume this is a right angle triangle. What is my distance? Theta t, opposite side will get the sine theta t. 
and adjacent side is a cos theta t. Okay, so see the opposite side means started here and move in this direction. Sin theta t is in the a z bar, negative a z bar direction. This is a positive negative a z bar, and this is a plus cos theta t into x bar. So by using these two right angle triangles, we got the ht bar and the et bar. Got it, my students. So the i and the hi and the er and the hr and the et and the h. In a similar way, you can find the er and the hr also. Got it, my students. Er and the hr also. So similar to the horizontal polarization, similar to the horizontal polarization using the boundary conditions, the tangential components of E bar and H bar are continuous at boundary, are continuous at the boundary. E1 bar is equal to E2 bar. So E1 bar is equal to E2 bar. In this, uh, you see, in this I told the Z is equal to zero means we are eliminating this term. And only can assume the AX bar coefficient, we eliminate this one. Okay, and also the exponentials, what we have, the e power minus z beta 1 x sine theta i and e power minus z beta 1 x sine theta r and e power minus z beta 2 z beta 2 x sine theta is all or equal. So eliminate this exponential coefficient also in all the e r bar, e, e terms. So E i having only now after this E i is having E i into E i into cos theta i A x bar. A x bar coefficient we are taking the so A x bar also we are not writing the comparing the A x bar coefficient of E i into A i and in this uh, here also the A x bar coefficient we are eliminating the a z bar and this exponential and the z is equal to zero. So e r is equal to e r is equal to e r into cos theta r a x bar coefficient and e t is equal to what is the e t is equal to e t is also the z is equal to zero. We are eliminating this one. Now all the exponential values uh, eta b e power minus z theta one x sine theta t. And eliminating the z component, comparing only the x bar, x bar coefficients, e t into cos theta t. Got it, my students. Now, adding the e1 bar and the e2 bar, e1 bar is equal to e2 bar. What is the e1 bar? The combination of e i plus er bar is equal to e2 bar. In this, we have only considered as a x bar coefficient. So what is this magnitude? ei into cos theta r i and the plus er into theta r is replaced as a theta i upon the sense law of uh, reflection cos theta i is equal to et into cos theta t et into cos theta t. so take the cos theta is a common here cos theta i e i plus e r is equal to et into cos theta t got it my now we got this expression e i plus e r cos theta i is equal to e to cos theta t when when we take the comparison of er ei and et and hi hr and ht what is the hi here see the hi is equal to take the z is equal to zero z is equal to zero we are eliminating this component e1 bar eta 1 e power minus z beta 1 x sine theta i in this also e power minus z beta 1 x sine theta is uh, exponential is common term h i bar is equal to h i bar is equal to e i by the eta 1 
pi by the eta 1 and similarly hr is equal to hr bar is equal to in this uh, i can write this as that is equal to 0 also e power minus uh, j beta 1 x sin theta i let us take right that also and z is equal to 0 and hr is equal to er by not the bar here er only er by the eta 1 e power minus j beta 1 x sin theta r so theta i and the theta r is both are the same means exponentials is the same ht bar is equal to et by the eta 2 because in the second medium medium 2 e power minus j beta 2 x sin theta t according to the snell's law of reflection this exponential value is also the equal okay now in these two equations uh, substitute the er is equal to er is a minus value er is equal to what is a hr is equal to hr is a e power minus j beta 1 in terms of the ei et by the eta 2 the exponential is the same here also the exponential and exponential and exponential get cancelled hi plus hr is equal to 1 by the eta 1 and ei hr is equal to minus er by the eta 1 we got minus er by the eta 1 because in the reverse direction it's a taking as a minus value so here the minus is there minus er is equal to et by the eta et by the eta so exponentials are all equal according to the sense law of reflection and the refraction reflection and the refraction okay from this uh, you can find the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient what is the reflection coefficient uh, uh, transmission coefficient uh, using the relation ei plus er into cos theta i plus et into cos theta t so eliminate the er to get the transmission coefficient substitute the er is equal to in this function er is equal to er is equal to et cos theta t minus ei cos theta i divided with the cos theta i substitute this ei er is equal to 1 by the eta 1 ei minus et cos theta t minus ei cos theta i whole divided by cos theta i is equal to et by the eta now you can see all the terms are there in the eti and the et only to get the transmission coefficient tau is equal to et by the eta simplify this expression okay ei terms what is the ei terms here ei minus ei by cos theta i by the cos theta i okay so 1 by the eta 1 write all the ei terms in the left hand side ei minus minus into minus is a plus plus ei by the cos theta i by the cos theta here again it is a ei only cos theta i cos theta i get cancelled is equal to et by the eta 2 plus because here the minus is there plus et cos theta t by cos theta i and here the eta 1 is also multiplied for this one eta 1 okay now from these two equations uh, take uh, 2 ei by the eta 1 
is equal to eta et take the common of et one term is eta 1 cos theta i plus eta 2 cos theta t whole divided by in the denominator there is a eta 1 cos theta i eta 2. So in this eta 1 eta 1 get cancelled. Now to get the reflect transmission coefficient ei coefficient is 2 into cos theta 2 eta 2 cos theta i cos theta i whole divided by eta 2 cos theta t plus eta 1 cos theta i. It's a transmission coefficient we got 2 eta 2 cos theta i by eta 2 cos theta i plus eta 2 cos theta i. Got it, my students. Reflection coefficient also you have to find out. 